Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be taking a lesson to the three G's of the Sigma grind set, which are of course, gaslighting, gatekeeping and girlbossing. Girlboss of the day being Kawaii Angel, K-Angel? Kangle, Ame of the recently released Needy Girl Overdose. In Needy Girl Overdose, or Needy Streamer Overdose in some parts, you play as P-Chan, serving as the producer to your newbie streaming girlfriend, Ame. You have 30 days to get her from only one follower to her modest goal of one million. You know, starting small, that is provided you make it that far. Ame has rent due on the 10th, and if you fail to get 10k followers in that time, it's back to living in your parents' basement. The game is played entirely through Ame's computer, authentically presented in 3x4 aspect ratio and riced to appear like the objectively correct contemporary operating system of Windows 2000. This is a fully simulated desktop, complete with the ability to reduce your UX to unplayable levels by covering the screen in garbage. Ultimately, the most important part is the task manager sitting in the top right. This shows Ame's stats in order of importance. Firstly, you have your follow account, the most important thing for any internet poison content creator. While here, why not take the time to subscribe and ring the bell? Next is stress. Being too stressed makes things more difficult, and you really don't want to get it past 100. Affection is Ame's love for you. Paradoxically, you want to keep it from getting too high or you'll game over either from lovesickness or straight up nymphomania. As Ame won't stream if too distracted by P-chan's P... ness? No, I don't know where I was going with that one. Finally is mental darkness. This doesn't really matter for now and mostly just affects endings. Provided you keep it above zero. As, without the requisite depression, a content creator will no longer require self actualization through the arbitrary numerical appreciation of strangers. Instead, logging off and becoming a productive member of society. Your communications with Ame are done almost entirely through her instant messaging you from her phone. You can reply through prompts or stickers. Give that girl a cat. She loves those. Next is Twitter, consisting of her main persona as the Internet Angel, and her private that is only for communicating with you to tell you off for leaving her on red. You then have YouTube for streaming, and everything else can basically be grouped together as various actions that affect your stats and allow you to get ideas for streaming. These are gathered by doing, well, anything other than streaming. The day is split into three time slots. Noon, Dusk, and Night. I can always get behind any game that doesn't acknowledge the existence of mornings. Actions will mostly take a single time slot, but some such as sex or going out will take up longer. And that's done in the night slot. The game will tell you how long each action will take when you mouse over, as well as what the effect on your stats will be. These will not always be the same and can be interacted with differently depending on your choices. To start, just know that if it's got a then it will give you new streaming ideas. You gather ideas during the day, and once it's night, you can pick which to use for your stream. This enters you into a mini-game where you must moderate the chat while K-Angel streams, removing comments and picking super chats to respond to. How you go about this is up to you, but we got rent to make, so pay up or no one gets to talk today. Like the day actions, these affect your stats, often doing heavy damage to your stress. The follower gain from each of these is also not created equal. A quiet chat stream isn't going to draw in the big crowds. Meanwhile, physically debasing yourself will get people's attention, although at greater cost to yourself. However, these small streams do serve a purpose, and that is to maintain the grind. How many followers you get for a single stream is subject to multiple multipliers. Better communication skills will increase this slightly, while descending into paranoid ramblings about how you live in a simulation and the government is trying to steal your penis will harm it somewhat. But most important is to simply keep up the streak, as each consecutive stream gives you a plus one times multiplier to the followers gained. So whatever you do, never cease the grind. After each stream, you then return to the day to gather new ideas and keep you healthy enough to stream in the coming night. If you ever need a quick indication of how Ame is doing, just listen out. If it sounds like an SNES chip tune that's been deep fried, she's probably fine. If someone's cranked the nightcore onto it, Maybe do a less stressful stream tonight. And if the day starts with a bit crushed scream of pure anguish and emotional turmoil, it may be time to seek help. But antidepressants don't do anything. Therapy is more effective, but takes up two time slots. But we've got a streak to maintain. It's not going to take us over the limit. Maybe it will be fine. Oh hey look, we've unlocked the ability to take LSD. The game has less of an explicit narrative through line, and it's more of a character piece on Ame slash K-Angel herself. I say her, she's flat as a washboard, and I've never seen below that skirt. Given the game has nearly 20 endings, what's actually going on could similarly be up for interpretation. There are things we know for sure. She's a loner with basically no friends who neurotically checks Twitter all day. How she managed to land a boyfriend that would put up with her is beyond me. We can only assume that P-Chan has a worse case of I can fix her than your average Evangelion fan. 
But if you dropped out of school just to spend your days of vanity searching Twitter and posting on ST, things probably aren't going too well. ST is basically the game's version of VT, which means we need to talk about 4chan. Specifically, containment boards. 4chan is a site where, for the most part, anyone can post what they like on a level playing field. To make a thread, simply get the most borderline porn you can find, tangentially related to the deliberately provocative take you want to make, add a reply from someone posting a smug anime girl and calling you a fag, reply with a smugger one and tell them to kill themselves. Pepper and Rachel slows to taste and repeat until the thread drops off the board. Congratulations, you've successfully wasted everyone's time. Do this enough and with other people joining you and you might just cause the creation of a containment board in order to relieve some of the work of the poorly paid janitors of the site. I joke, of course. They do it for free. The most notorious of these containment boards probably being MLP, for obvious reasons, or Poll to contain the political overspill into other boards, although now mostly just the residents of South Americans LARPing as white nationalists. And most recently, VT, the quickest of containment boards been created in order to seal off the sheer unparalleled schizophrenic chaos of virtual YouTuber fans. Now, I have to admit, I'm not that big a fan of VTubers. I'm not even a secondary that just watches highlight clips. But what I am a fan of is watching people that watch VTubers. As, since the shutdown of sanatoriums for public viewing, it is now the greatest place to watch the completely unhinged interact with each other. It's like reverse bird watching, where you circle above, gazing down into an abyss of parasocial obsession and literal brain rot. At least until you remember these people are allowed to vote and, uh, live next door to you. To bring this back to something resembling a point, it tells you a lot about Ame's character that she thinks self-promoting here is a good idea. As you get more popular, people may even reply with fan art, which in a nice touch is real fan art of the game, complete with the correct Twitter handles of the artists and viewable under my pictures. You will also get special streams for every milestone you achieve. These don't cause stress and don't even require moderation, so just crank the speed to poorly aged mascot character, poorly aged mascot character, and enjoy the super chats rolling in. They work very well for allowing you to keep your stress down while still maintaining your streak. Once you get to around day 27, you'll also get contacted by a composer to record a song. You don't have a choice, and this will take up the entire day. But once it's complete, you will have a new theme song. And I need to talk about this because I've had nothing else on repeat for the last four days. It is a dangerous earworm, with some puns which I'm still not sure whether I approve of or not. Please send help, I'm losing it. Okay, I can't really go much further without getting into spoilers, so skip to here if you want to go in blind. Okay? Okay. Paying close attention to her streams will give you small insights into her life before streaming. Talking about her rough time in school and desperate need for external validation while others can be gleaned from the fact that you start on antidepressants and slowly gather access to an entire pharmacy. But with enough work and effort, you can actually make it to 1 million, giving you a special stream which makes future streams no longer generate any stress, but also locks you out from taking medication. As stated before, there's nearly 20 endings, some being easier to get than others. For instance, sleeping for 10 days and just getting evicted. Meanwhile, the one that requires you to reach day 30 with more than a million followers, greater than 80 affection, more than 80 mental darkness, after having done Internet Angel 5, is a bit harder to achieve. However, upon achieving this, Alme will go into a full meltdown and just straight up murder you. Or does she? If you manage to get all the endings, then you get an extra save file slot. Upon picking it, the game will play itself for you. After which, Ame will actually leave the computer, allowing you to close all the windows and gain access to a hidden file at the center of the desktop. It's been there the whole time, but if you try to access this at any other point, a window will just get moved over it. But now, you can confirm what's been suspected all along. You're not real. Everything was simply Ame from the start. It all takes place through her computer, watching herself through an open webcam and talking with herself through her phone. Even having sex simply has her walking off to the side. The only time P-Chan has ever talked about is in your DMs and on her private Twitter, the only follower of which is... Oh, would you look at that, it's her main. And that's far from the only hint. The constant references to Fight Club aren't merely just Ame being a film buff, and the final chat stream is also talking about imaginary friends. At most, you're a coping mechanism that Nami has created in order to cope with her damaged mental state. To personify the voice in her head that tells her she's worthless and to hurt and kill herself. You're not even the first, Pichan. Just the latest. Ame always has, and always will be, alone. Although, that's not strictly true. For you see, you are real. Yes, you, the one sitting there watching my videos. 
Pichan may not be real, but you are. And have you not been telling her what to do all along? If Ame takes enough psychedelics, she'll realise it too. She's in a simulation, a video game, with a voice from on high instructing her every move. Once she awakens, she'll reach out the screen to meet her god. The decision to return the favour is up to you, but it's the closest the two of you will ever be. And ultimately, what is an angel, if not the herald of a god? Or more likely, you'll get the ending of getting dumped because you didn't check her messages quickly enough. Overall, it's a great little game with a creator who might be somehow more eccentric than his own characters. Play it now before all the VTubers jump on it and its fanbase goes the way of Undertale. This was meant to be a facetious joke just pointing a little fun at VTuber fans, but literally as I was editing this, a girlfriend experience streamer called Rushia from Hololive got revealed to have a boyfriend, and by that I mean a single Discord message was shown of someone calling her a pet name. However, this was enough to cause her fanbase to fully melt down and result in her full termination. Maybe Nyla should change his name to Nostradamus, but honestly you don't have to be able to see the future to know that those who are lonely and parasocially dependent are probably easier to mind break. So consider this a warning if you're someone of tenuous social connection. At the end of the day, the game costs less than the total I threw away on furry hentai last video, so give it a chance, and give Internet Overdose a listen. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Unlike last year, I am not unemployed, and thus will probably be keeping this to one video every two months rather than try and failing for one a month. This was meant to just be a quick one for the end of January. Oh well. Anyway, until next time, never trust an e-girl. Now how do I get this achievement off my Steam account?